this, my friends, is the Atco 10 Blade Vintage Greens Mower. A uh, yes. The Atco from the United Kingdom. Yes, you are seeing that correctly. This is a 10 blade. Can you believe that? That's a 10 blade. I wanna start utilizing all the mowers. I mean, that's, that's, that's an envelope. Flawless. I don't know much about this mower. All I know is it looks like the web, all metal, very sturdy looking. It's almost like a groove front roller, 10 blade with a metal rear roller. <laughs> it's gonna be a beast on the greens. I'm guessing this is an old greens mower from the UK. Let me show you the web next to it. You know what I mean? It's like the same freaking machine. I mean, this, if I wanted to use the front roller, I could probably put it on here as well. I don't think the bag fits though. Let me show you by comparison. You can see how small this guy is. It's half the size of a sword. I wonder if webs fit on here. Oh my gosh, it does. Yes, sir, we Bob. Okay, we're in business. I wonder if that'll actually stay. How to cut. Yes, land is three mil. That's ridiculous. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to finagle with this bag real quick and then we'll get back there. We gotta do a lot of stuff back there. I'm pretty sure the original grass catcher was like metal. Probably some metal grass catcher. I got an idea. I don't have any bungee cords, so let's try this. I gotta go to Harbor Freight and get some bungee cords. Yes, sir, Bob. <laughs> See if we can't make that work. Someone used this back in the day. So if they can use it, we can use it. Yes, sir. Battle 17 for the 1832 South Central Service to Brighton. Fast to East Croydon, then Red Hill, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Walcombe, Hayden, Wimblesfield, Burgess Hill, Athens, Preston Park, and Brighton.
is my new favorite mower. Are you kidding? Look at the stripes. What? What? It's crazy. You gotta do what you gotta do. Look at that. Look at this. Hear me out. Once we put sand down and oversee it again and get rid of the weeds, <laughs> <laughs> it's game over, bro. Atco. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna put some fertilizer down. I was gonna spray. Let me get some fertilizer down first. I'm gonna put some melorganite down just to feed it because we just cut it. I don't wanna cut and then spray so i didn't think about that but let me put down some nutrients some melorganite because we, we just put down some mollycoddle cocktail yesterday some springtime epicness i don't think you understand this just made the video i'm so happy right now that thing is badass 10 blade 13 inch perfect for this greens oh my gosh get off okay let's get some milo down I love when good old vintage mowers just smash. I got this thing at Mount Vernon from a super cool guy that sells lawn mowers. I'll tell you right now, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in the US with it. I can't find that mower anywhere. Let's get some Milo down. How exciting is this? I love this stuff. I wish they sold these, you know? If they could just sell these mowers everywhere, that would be sick. I'm just happy I have one. I'm gonna put some Milo down, some insecticide, and we'll water it a little bit. <laughs> pounds for a thousand this is 1500 square feet so we'll just put the whole four pounds down it's okay let's start with the greens
Yes, sir. Whew. This needs sand. Give me a, a couple months because I might be moving a little bit better, but yeah, you can, it's taking a toll on me. You can see I'm, I'm like out of breath. I'm like recovering still. I'm having fun. I'm trying to have fun. Guys, the Atco Shortcut 10 blade groovish front roller is amazing. It's, uh, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's for smaller greens. It's not heavy. Like Hudson just digs in and it, it frustrates me. And then Swordman's way too heavy for this. That little 13 inch, I'm, oh, that's exciting. That's gonna be fun to work with for sure. Greens is looking a decent, very decent. Very happy, very excited. I need to water this in somehow. I really don't wanna turn on the water. Let's see what the temperature is. Maybe just at least the greens, cause this I can fix if it gets damaged. Uh, what are we looking like? Never mind. we have rain tomorrow, so we're good. <laughs> I'm just having fun here, guys. I'm just gonna watch the perfect sunset on the greens, put some stuff away. Amazing, 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 amazing. Very, very short episode today. Not much, just this back area. I was gonna spray, we're gonna save that. So what I'll do is I'll cut tomorrow, or I'll cut the day after the rain, spray. Let's see, what's the schedule looking like? I'm gonna keep you guys informed. Oh yeah, perfect. So tomorrow it's gonna rain, so no mowing tomorrow. Tuesday, it's not gonna rain. Wednesday, it's gonna rain. On Tuesday, we're gonna put down some herbicides all in the back. Now we have to dial this down. I have to restudy my herbicides because I know the back back cannot receive Progress EC. It will kill all of that fescue. There is some fescue back here, but it's pretty resilient and has adapted to the Progress CC. Maybe a little tenacity. I don't want it to bleach just quite yet though. I know we're gonna have to go through that bleaching phase, which is gonna be frustrating. So what, what I'll do is I'll probably just do Progress, Tenacity, and T-Zone. You can't put T-Zone or Tenacity on the bent grass. That will kill the bent grass. Well, we can put Progress there. Around the collar, we'll put down some Tenacity and some T-Zone, as well as all around here as well. Just, this is gonna be the trifecta. Tenacity, T-Zone, Progress. Same with the collar and the bent grass is only gonna be progress. Sounds like a plan? Very excited, my dudes. This season's gonna be epic. Look at this. We're already miles ahead. So excited. You guys are the best. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are so fun. Keep commenting. Love you guys. You're the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.